Good morning. We are at Greener Good, where people can come and buy secondhand supplies of all kinds for schools, for arts and crafts. I love, Amanda, what you call this little corner because it really doesn't make sense, but it does if you're creative. It does, yeah. So it's a fill a bag section. Mm -hmm. So it's loose parts, stem items, scrap items, um, things that other people can feel very creative with. Mm -hmm. um, that, yeah, most of the time you'd be like, what are you doing with a pine cone? Yeah, but when the kids are little, they love to collect yeah. these and then do art with them. Oh, great Christmas ornaments. All right, how does this place work? Yeah, so uh, folks can donate items one bag at a time right now. Uh, people can also come in and shop. And so it's thrift store prices. And then we have a teacher section as well. It is Teacher Appreciation Week this week, which okay. we're really excited yes, about. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, teachers can come in and they can actually get a teacher card that has punches on it and they can pay $40 for it, mm -hmm. or people can actually support them through Don't Adopt, yeah, mm -hmm. through adopt a Classroom or Adopt a School Program. Mm -hmm. So Allie here was our first person who actually donated money for an entire school to be adopted, so all the teachers, uh, the librarian and interventionist mm -hmm. will all be able to get this punch card, mm -hmm. and that's for Virginia Lake School, which is a Title I school, so we're really excited. They all will get a free card that they can use to get free stuff throughout the school year. Allie, that was pretty awesome. That's a great idea. And it's better than just giving the teacher an end of the year mug it with is. a gift card. Here yeah. they can come, and she and I were talking earlier, even the kids can come here and pick exactly what they want. And that gives them a sense of dignity too. Absolutely. If their parents can't really afford these supplies that a lot of times are so expensive if they're brand new. I also love if people want to donate that you'll take stuff that's already used. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that jar of sand yes. I saw that <laughs> triggered me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, half used glue sticks and mm -hmm. pens and markers paint. and paint. As long as it works. Yeah, as long as it works and it's not going to waste. We're about trying to reduce waste in the community and we're doing it in a way that it's being able to get uh, it here, central place, and people can come and shop and enjoy. You're offering also classes for adults as well? Yes. Workshops? Absolutely. So uh, your traditional art and crafts type items, mm -hmm. uh, these folks, we uh, they're all doing their own thing because once a month we actually do a meet and craft. Mm -hmm. And so you can bring your own thing and just chill out and be together, see what other people are up to, maybe get some advice on something you're working on. Yeah. That's free once a month. Mm -hmm. And then we have some paid workshops as well. Are the kids' workshops free too? Uh, the, the, the kids' workshops and the adult workshops, um, there's a buried price. Gotcha. To try and make more affordable. So not everyone can afford the same price. Right. So, so in we scale, actually, pretty much. It is scale, yeah. I love that, Amanda. What a great idea that just came up in 2019 because you were trying to help put less waste out there and help others. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that is around town for this morning. Back to you.